Today, let's render pomegranate seeds using Maya, Substance Painter, and Arnold. I am Veda Prashant, a 3D and VFX artist. As simple as the model looks, we just have three variations of the model and there are seeds inside the fruit as well. The UVs for the, all the three models are very simple. I've just cut the seams in the center and um, unwrapped them. It's a very simple process, nothing really complex in this. I export them to the Substance Painter through OBJ format. And here, I've taken some reference for the uh, picking colors and I just select one new layer and I remove all the other channels except the base color channel. And for the base color, I pick up the color from the web image which we have on to the left. And I just duplicate the same layer and just change the color a little bit just to have some variations in the color channel. So I'm taking references from different images just to get some variation. And studying the subject is actually very important. There are lots of reference images and this is a very simple and very easily obtained uh, fruit. So you can, you can look at the fruit physically and also find the references as you need. So I just start adjusting the colors and just give some variations into the colors and the reason why I'm making one of the layer a little bit bright and towards white is because uh, the bottom part of the seed is actually a little bit pale so I'm just trying to texture I'm just trying to use the mask layers and I'll just paint the seeds from bottom to top so after naming the files after naming the base color channels, I'm just going to add mask layers. And I'm just going to start painting onto it. So as you can see here that the bottom part of the seed is actually a little bit pale compared to the top part. The top part is actually more dense because there's a thickness difference in the model itself. So just to mimic that into the, into the textures, I'm just going to paint a little bit of white to the bottom and I just try some stunts here and there just to add some variations over, over the fruit with different different masks and if I'm not happy I just remove them and if, I'm, if it's working well I just continue doing them. So we have the next layer as well and for that layer also we're going to add a slight variation just to get some slight variation we're going to paint it here and there so decreasing the opacity and the flow values we would we can just paint it here and there this is not a compulsion it is you can do the same thing even using procedural shading through maya itself but since I am more interested in texturing, I use Substance Painter and I really like uh, painting the textures. So once these are done, I'm going to add one more layer here and I'm just going to make the color completely uh, very dark, maybe like a maroon color, just to uh, show the density of transmission when I'm going to render it in 3D. So we find different um, references. You can see that the 
the top part of the seed is actually dense because there is a thickness in that so and it looks a little bit dark so i'll be using a little darker uh, variation in the on the top part i'll just start painting here uh, on the top area these are all a uh, subtle changes you, you don't have to deliberately move uh, you don't have to you know, have a very harsh uh, variation we are going to use these maps even though they are in the base color i'm going to use all of these in two the transmission color when in while rendering in arnold so here it might look it might not look what we want what we actually expect so now once the colors color layers are done i'm going to just add one layer for the height value i'll just try finding the right uh, uh, procedural map and I'll assign it to the height map. Even though I'm just using the height map over here, I'm not going to use the height map, which is displacement map. I'm not going to use the displacement map for uh, rendering in Arnold. When I'm exporting the textures, I'll be exporting the normal map instead of the height map. So something a very procedural map will be fine. And this is too much. So I'm just going to reduce it in the height channel. I'll reduce it to around one or two. Keeping your, uh, your procedural maps or uh, any grunges or something into triplanar projection is always the best idea because you won't get unnecessary seams even if they are so for now i feel this is fine i have not added any specular uh, rough uh, break breakup because i don't want to add them as of now so i'm exporting all of the files and i'm exporting only normal map and the base color so if you check the normal map we have some details in the normal map which is what we exactly want and the base color is ready now i'm just going to assign a shader for the outside fruit i'm naming it as pomegranate and for the seed i'm going to assign it as pomegranate seed so starting with the the outside part we'll be just adding one single texture for the transmission layer and then i'm not going to use any diffuse colors i mean any diffuse properties everything is going to be done in the transmission uh, tab itself so i'm just going to enable an hdr You can download a lot of HDRs from hdrihaven.com. We have plenty of amazing um, HDRs over there. So, I, so now I'm going to input my textures into um, into HyperShade of Maya. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to start docking the tabs here and there. So now I have two textures and I have two unnecessary uh, 2D texture nodes. So I'm just going to use one of them because both of them are having the same UV placement. So I'm just going to press Ctrl, middle mouse button and drag it and drop it on the second texture node. So we just have one for one place to detection node and sharing it with both textures. And here, I'm not going to use any base color. And I'm not going to use any, uh, uh, 
I'm not going to work on specular right away. First, let me go to the transparency, which is the transmission tab, and making sure that the opaque is off. So by default, we are getting the shading like this. So it is a white. I mean, uh, we have just given no color for that. By default, shader it is. I'm again having a tough time arranging the tabs into Maya. Oh my God. Yeah, all right. So now I'm going to assign the base color texture into the transmission color and just take a render. We have a very good start over here. So the seed is seen inside well. The speculars are rough, which is not actually the right way, but we shall go for that. Now, the speculars are really rough, so I'll start observing the reference. And in the reference, it's not very soft nor very sharp. It is somewhere in between a, a very soft, subtle specular I can see. So just going to keep it around 0 0.6 or something. Yeah, 0 0.06 would do. And I'm putting the IOR to 0 1.37. Let's check the difference now for the speculars. Yeah, so now we have got a little bit glossy um, pomegranate, which is not exactly right. I start tweaking the uh, roughness a little bit. Specular values and the transmission values are the most important part for this pomegranate scenes. These are the only ones which we actually need for the best results. You, you have to spend more time in adjusting and tweaking the roughness value, the color values, and in transmission, we have depth, scatter. So coming down to transmission tab, as we observe the subject over here, there is a, as we have discussed that there is a different depth in the object. I'm going to put depth at 0 0.001, which means that the transmission is, the light entering into the object is just 0 0.001 units. That is why we are not able to see anything inside the object. So once I start increasing the depth a little bit, it starts to show something what is inside the object. So I can see a little bit down at the bottom, but not exactly what I want. So I start increasing my depth a little bit more. Maybe something around 0 0.3 would do, maybe. Yeah, now we got some, you can see that the top part of the shade, top part of the pomegranate is actually something a little bit black and the bottom is a little bit seen clearly. Yeah, so ultimately this is how it looks for now. So as you observe the um, reference image, the seed inside is seen as a blur and a very um, fuzzy seed. So, but here we have a very sharp seed so we just have to blur out the seed inside, but not the speculars outside. So the best way is adjusting the extra roughness in the transmission tab. So I'll just keep it around 0 0.2, which removes some unwanted artifacts in speculars or through HDRI uh, reflections. So you can see this, there's a nice differentiation in that. And the seed is also a little bit blur inside, which is what we want, which is trying to show that there is some liquid inside the fruit which is exactly what we want so 
so once you start adjusting the depth too much uh, it starts to become pale so you have to have a right amount of depth because uh, the, the pomegranates are actually scaled in a real uh, real world uh, values so and overall this is the first part of the tutorial and we shall be working on the second part with small simulation and uh, lighting and rendering